The May primary is just five weeks away. Tonight, New Bethel Baptist Church held a public forum for candidates running for public office. Among them, incumbent Mayor John McNally and his opponent, former Council President Jamal Tito Brown. 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel was at that forum tonight. He joins us live in the studio with our top story at 11. Stan and Mandy Brown ran against McNally way back in 2013. He lost by 142 votes. Brown says his main focus will be on finding jobs and bringing them to Youngstown. While Mayor McNally touted his record for quality of life improvements over the last four years. The Community Mobilization Coalition held their forum, hosting candidates for Youngstown City offices. Each candidate had three minutes to introduce themselves and explain their policies. I was born and raised in Youngstown, Ohio. Born to two South High Warriors and Youngstown State Penguins. Then panelists and audience members asked questions and candidates responded to them for two minutes. The heroin epidemic came up as well as hiring minority workers and bringing a supermarket back to the city. It takes all sides of town working together and it takes leadership willing to represent all sides of town. While not mentioned specifically at the meeting, I asked both Mayor McNally and Jamel Tito Brown about a major project in the city, the planned amphitheater to be built next to the Market Street Bridge. I wanted to make sure that we're not spending funds that we wouldn't be able to have. On Friday, Brown released a statement saying he was worried about the project. He says it's too much, too soon, and too expensive, saying he's worried about the $4 million federal loan the city plans to take out to partially pay for the project. That money, he says, may not be there with President Trump's recent budget cuts. And I thought it would be just proactive move to say, listen, let's stop. Let's find out what he's actually going to cut. Are you worried about funding at all for this project? I am not. McNally says he's dealing with what's in front of him. I think some folks are skittish that uh, the uh, federal government is going to actually listen to some of the budget requests of the, of the current president, uh, which I don't think will be the case. And Brown also made several comments about McNally's federal charges. McNally responded saying they had nothing to do with the election at hand and that it's time to move forward. Voting for that primary will begin on the 2nd of May. Live in the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News at 11.